Welcome back, welcome back. It is me, Britt Reacts, and today we are reacting to Louis Anderson, A Visit from the F to the B to the I. Let's see what he has to say. I'm from a family of 11. Oh, and Jesus. I know, that's what people always say. Wow, oh, women always. Sorry. <laughs> and I'm not the first celebrity in our house. My brother, the safe cracker. The safe cracker? He was the first celebrity. Because <laughs> he was a really, you know, pretty good safe cracker. So, but I remember, so like I, bank remember I was 10 years old, something like that. And the FBI comes to the door. And I go downstairs. No I'm way. The door answer. <laughs> what? That's how I talk when I was 10. What? What? <laughs> what? Son? Not your son. <laughs> We'd like to talk to your parents. What about son? First thing I noticed is that like there was no very graphic opening, which I'm so used to on this show. And I think it's part of the reason why I like stopped watching them because I was traumatized by the openings and how like gory and graphic they could be. <laughs> That's first things first. Second of all, um, he has a very kind of, well, distinct look and voice, but he, it almost feels, and this is not like a bad thing, but like cartoony. Like, I feel like you could turn him into an animated character very easily, which lends well to a comedic career, if you ask me. And then, I don't know if I'm on three or fourth. The next thing is that I love... First of all, God bless any woman that pushed out 11 children through her birth canal because couldn't be me. And second of all, shout out to all the siblings who have 10 siblings or close to it because whoo, couldn't be me. Uh, <laughs> but I love how he's like, my brother was a safe cracker. I was a door opener because I feel like in a large family, like everyone does kind of have their thing and they get known for that thing. So I just thought that was a funny way to like let us know his role in his family he was to open the door. We'd like to talk to your parents. What about <laughs> son? I'm not your son. <laughs> so could you get your father? Teenagers and kids really Dad. don't care. They don't. There's Mormons here. Mormons. <laughs> Jehovah Witnesses at the door. And then they go, they say to him, sir. Yeah. My dad. Yeah. <laughs> We're the FBI. Is that so? <laughs> FBI. Huh. Huh. You got my letters, huh? <laughs> We'd like to come in. I'm sure you would. I'm also sure in a family of 11, which I guess, I don't know if it's 11 kids or 11 including the parents, but when you have that many kids, like nothing phases you. So this probably is his dad's reaction. Like, oh, is that so? Like, who are you here for? Like, not again, kind of energy. Whoo. Again, it couldn't be me. <laughs> We'd like to come in. I'm sure you would. I'm a veteran, you know. Well, thank you for your service. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. What do you want? We're here with a search warrant. We, uh, we're looking for your son. Well, he's not here. Yeah. Which one? He's not here. Why don't you leave him alone? That was my whole stance for the whole thing. Why don't you leave him alone? <laughs> you didn't do it. And then my mom comes out of the kitchen, the sweetest person in the world. You love Aw. What's going on here? Who's here? <laughs> All these voices. This, uh, G-Man. G-Man. G-Man, I'll never forget that. G-Man. And she goes, what? It's the FBI. They want to, they're looking for your son. It's her son now. Yeah. I'm that I way with my kids that. to my husband. Come, come get your son. Boys. <laughs> Would you like a nice cup of coffee? And my dad grumbles. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why don't you ask him to stay over? Oh, well, maybe I will. <laughs> so my mom brings him in. Do you like Folgers? He's a fantastic storyteller. Like, he's not using his body. You know, a lot of people, like, lean on physical comedy. He's not moving around a lot. You really can focus in on just him and the storytelling. And he's switching the voices. 
He's really set the scene. Like, he's such a good storyteller. I'm like, in this. What's gonna happen? So my mom brings him in. Do you like Folgers? It's good to the last drop. <laughs> <laughs> so they come in. My mom's very smart. Now, this must be a terrible job, huh? Because nobody's ever happy to see you, are they? No! Oh, facts! Well, not really, ma'am. Well, it must be terrible. Would you like a nice piece of chocolate cake? It's Duncan Hines. <laughs> I make the frosting from scratch. <laughs> and she'd shoot that face at him. Is she distracting I'm them? I'm practically insane. <laughs> Don't mess with me now. Eat the cake. That's my husband. <laughs> That's why. So there. there. He's sweating a lot. There, my other brother's there. My dad's in there. <sighs> so there's at least four boys in this family, and no one said which son. We all just knew which son, which means he's guilty. You, you mean you know what I mean? Like they already knew who they were looking for. They didn't add like he's either done this before or he's super guilty. I'm just saying like. Hello? You mean to tell me there are three boys in the house and the other one is not there and no one asks which son? Red flag. <laughs> Red flag. He's a noisy dad. <laughs> Bless you? Kazoom type? What was that? Well, we better get looking. We'd like to execute the search the warrant. warrant right now. They're gonna kill him! <laughs> No, son. I'm not your son. <laughs> and and the, so they start looking. Now, this is the thing about our house. Like, my mom was a pack rat. A hoarder, you if know, you will. No, a bad one. Not a hoarder, though, because oh. we're Niles. Oh. <laughs> I'm coming down seven. A baby hoarder? Isles? Anyway, oh. so they go to the basement first. And my mom is the best. She goes, when you're down there, if you find a sausage I cannot. that match this cup, I can't. Will you bring it up? She's a wise ass, Tell and I love her. <laughs> She's lovely crazy. Lovely so crazy. they're down there. They're sweating when they come up, you know. I identify with that. <laughs> lovely crazy. That's me. And they come up, and honestly, they're just like, oh, God. Well, there's four more bedrooms to look through. <laughs> and they go, okay. So there we start going. And I'm, be I'm right behind the FBI. What do you get paid for this? <laughs> You ever shoot anyone? He's obnoxious. I can't discuss that. You did then. <laughs> you definitely did it. You guys should take my dad. Oh. He steals napkins. <laughs> now, my brother's there. No. He's upstairs. No. We hit him. No. In the hall closet. No. Under about a thousand pounds of clothes. Oh, well, he's good then. He's good. He's good. He's good. Especially if mom is a pack rat. He's good. So they knew the FBI was coming. They knew the brother was guilty. This is real family right here, y'all. This is real deal family right here. You know, people always like, oh, I would snitch on my family. It's like, dang, y'all just, I mean, he's, he's cracking safes. He's not cracking people's heads. You know, it's like there, there's, there's, a, there's a scale in my opinion. <laughs> Uh, I feel like he's not he's not harming anyone in particular you know what I mean I don't know Plus, let's see what happens under about a thousand pounds of clothes <laughs> anyway so they get through he probably fell asleep the closet. there's a big giant closet in the hall they open the doors I'm nervous now he's not here <laughs> I'm Shut telegraphing up. the whole thing my brother is going They start poking around in there. He didn't do it. I was with them. We were fishing. Shut night. up. We're night fishing. <laughs> so they're going through the closet. And you know, the, the clothes are up to there. And you know when you dig through clothes, there's something creepy about it, don't you think? <laughs> when they're not your clothes, there's something where you go. Yeah, uh, for sure. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> you know, and they're moving it around. And the guys look at each other and go, <laughs> Let's go down and have another piece of that cake. <laughs> and they go downstairs and have cake and coffee, and my mom's talking to him. Well, 
boys, how's your mother doing? She says to me. The mom is very oh, strategic. She's good. Tell her I said hi. What? <laughs> and my dad whispers to my other brother. That's all I could hear. <laughs> Yuck. And my brother gets in our Buick and screeches out of there. No. And of course, just reflex. The FBI jump up, run out, and get in their car and go why after didn't they? Why didn't he pull and out quietly? And then my brother throws the clothes off and comes down the stairs. Oh, and the other the brother. Door and escapes. The and other brother goes, got it. That cake is good, isn't it? We love the mom. The mom is a real one. That's a mother for you. <laughs> and that's my family. And my brother, the great thing is that my brother turned his life around. Oh, this was a started, real, real story. You know, teaching the police. He started telling them basically um, how dumb they were. <laughs> so he was That's an informant. What he to me, but I love my brother. I miss him. I, I showed him. Oh. Oh. Oh, he got emotional at the end. I was gonna say this felt like the realest story. Like his timing, the way he was able to really pull that story out and draw from it. There was no doubt in my mind it was a true story. But like when he really said at the end, I'm like, dang, that was really a true story. And then he got choked up. Oh Jesus. No, his mom was so strategic in that in every way. Like the coffee, the cake, like she knew what she was doing. She was building a relationship with them to relax them in their search. You know what I mean? So that they kind of gave up at the end and they wanted more cake. That was, he's really good. Wow. That was fantastic. I really enjoyed that. And I hope you did too. Have the day you deserve. Bye.